Unlike the history books you'll find in libraries and other places that contain lies, Dino D-Day sets a record straight with what actually happened during World War II. Nazi scientists have harnessed nature's greatest creation, dinosaurs, and is setting them loose all over Europe to cause chaos. It therefore becomes your decision to play Axis or Allies in a meeting of the tiny claws and sometimes guns. The gameplay follows the general first person shooter formula. You have a map with an objective, shoot everyone, stand on a spot the longest, kidnap some flags away from their families, etc etc. And instead of using rationale to defuse the situation, you allow your guns to do the talking. Or, if you're a dinosaur, your claws, teeth, acid spit and even bigger guns! The difference here, obviously, is that you get to control dinosaurs, who have a surprisingly enjoyable playstyle compared to the diversifying choice of terrorist or counter-terrorist. Controls are the same affair as usual, the left button fire, right button aim, and the other including jumping, crouching, and other things you normally won't need. It's only when you take control of some dinos does the whole sordid drudgery of the FPS formula become that much more intriguing. The Microraptor can fly, the Raptor can almost fly, and the Comp Sog... The... The Comp Sog... This guy can explode. Graphics aren't stunning in this game, but they should be familiar to those interested in Valve games. The Source Engine gives us some basic textures. It's not Crisis, but you can tell what's what. I actually find the art style to be rather fitting. And with the Source Engine comes a Steam server browser and ease of connection, making online multiplayer very accommodating. However, as amusing and as somewhat humorous as this game is, it simply cannot stand on premise alone. Lacklustre and sometimes unresponsive controls can hinder more serious matches, as well as balance issues that plague many game modes. For example, there is a mode where the Axis get to control a T-Rex, one person at a time. The T-Rex counts for three kills if slain, yet its rampage can decimate the ally team with ease. And the Axis, because of the story, also get the most dinosaurs. And dinosaurs are the shit. If you're playing as Compi, you'll have an easy time slipping past people and nibbling at their ankles. Therefore, playing the allies can become not only boring, but quite the unfair ordeal. All in all, Dino D-Day keeps me entertained to this day. It's a fun, casual shooter with a zany premise, simple controls, if played by a few bugs, and well worth the price of a four pack for you and your mates. And with a new arena slash survival mode, you'll be having co-op fun for hours. You will like this game if you like Counter-Strike, Killing Floor, and Dinosaurs. Dino D-Day and its DLC The Last Stand earns an indie bin recommendation.